challenge in assessment is to work with students at all levels. It's easy to assess seniors, for example, because they're doing high impact projects of some significance and they're e you can assess a lot of skills and things. But what about those freshmen who are just coming in and they're sitting in large classes and things like that? How do you assess them meaningfully at volume? That's the biggest assessment challenge we're facing right now. Well, right now we are acquiring a new student assessment engine, which will help us to design assessments for our teachers and students uh, that are aligned to standards and connected closely to our curriculum. Um, I think that it's really hard for teachers to design their own assessments because of the fact that you want them to be valid and reliable and of course have that standards alignment. But when the students go ahead and have to take uh, a standardized assessment, we want to make sure that they've had experiences with the kinds of assessment questions uh, that they will be seeing on those standardized assessments. So. The student assessment system will also provide us with the data we need to uh, help define where students need um, additional supports instructionally. The key challenges for us when it comes to the assessment side of things, I think is really building a, a dynamic assessment platform, um, and that's using things like adaptive and you know dynamic content, and being able to create um, something that's really good at assessing a student um, not just you know sort of one test globally for our students really getting down to their individual needs what what they need to be tested on and working from there I think that's a, a you know people are talking about adaptive and AI I think that's going to be a big challenge for the future now assessment we want to make sure that we're aligning appropriately right so the assessment has to align with the course learning objectives which has to align with program student learning outcomes with university learning goals and it has to be transparent so the creditors for external creditors or for um, you know Department of Education everybody needs to see that we're meeting these standards and, and see evidence of that. And so the assessment really has to be aligned and carefully constructed and, and aligned with the content perfectly. Assessments, I think, go beyond what we have seen traditionally as multiple choice questions. And especially in higher ed where the focus is on bridging the gap between uh, college and workforce. The assessments have to be very authentic assessments. Uh, they have to focus on learn whether the student has mastered and learned the competencies or not. So um, those kind of assessments which really test those competencies are, I think, the key requirement in the industry today. Um, and uh, you know, building those kind of assessments, aligning them to the learning outcomes uh, is, is the most critical thing.